Art shows are really the best way to celebrate the achievements of your students and show parents just how valuable your art program is. But unless you're a seasoned art show organizer, pulling off your first successful art show can really feel quite daunting. Now, I've coordinated dozens of art shows over the years, and not one of them took more than a day to organize the volunteers, mount and hang the artwork. Now, here's how I prep for that big volunteer day. Print out the handy art show checklist that you can find below this video to get yourself started. Grab a cup of coffee and let's begin. You want to create a student portfolio to collect the children's artwork throughout the year. This is best done at the beginning of the year, but let's get real, who does that? I never did. Now you want to select the work of art that best represents the student's efforts or better yet, have the students pick their favorite piece. Mounting artwork can really be the biggest time consumer when prepping for an art show, but this can be outsourced to a parent volunteer or you can do it in batches, which is probably what's gonna happen. Now, if this is left to you, collect a few colors of large colored sheets of sulfite paper, well, really hundreds, and get ready for a production line to include number one, trimming the artwork to eliminate any extra bits that you don't need, selecting a background color that complements the artwork, gluing the art to the paper, and finally, trimming the mounting paper itself. Now, listen, don't overthink this step or get out a ruler for heaven's sakes. It just doesn't have to be perfect. Now, the general rule of thumb is to have a one inch border around the artwork with a little bit more at the bottom to accommodate a label. Okay, now on the day before the big event, ask a few parents to help out uh, and roll out the big, large rolls of colored craft paper. It's the kind of paper that you find in most school workrooms. Now, what you wanna do is roll the length of the paper to the height of your walls, making sure not to go up too high. Now, this is all done on the floor, but you have to remember that you don't wanna roll out a huge length of paper, and then when it's hung, uh, the artwork is so hard to see because it's over people's head. So you, the paper lengths are rather short. Now that you have pre-cut all the paper lengths, gather your armload of all that beautiful art and all those folders and have the volunteers mount the artwork to the paper. Now, this used to take me forever when I was using a masking tape, so don't do this. But what I did instead is this trick. Use a long arm stapler or a hot glue gun and strategically dot or staple the glue or the staplers just to the corners to quickly mount the artwork onto the long paper panels. You don't have to have too many pieces of glue or they don't have to be there for a lifetime. They just have to make it through a week. Now you wanna make sure the artwork is not too high or too low because we don't want grandma crouching to see their grandchild's art. You wanna add the classroom teacher's name and the grade level to each panel to help parents find their children's art and navigate around the art gallery. You wanna keep all of the paper panels with the attached artwork on the floor until your team of paper panel hangers are ready to do their job. Now, for this, you need a power stapler, one of those electric staplers that are a little bit more heavy duty. You also need an, a ladder and a couple of strong arms to hoist that art laden panel up and to the walls. This is definitely a two person job. Art shows are really designed to uplift children and show them how important creating art is and how it makes them feel and that they can take pride in what they create. I want you to find the simplest solutions to the task at hand, repeat it every year, and show up to celebrate your little artist, which is what it's all about. Now remember, parents don't often place a math worksheet on the refrigerator, but they will a self-portrait. Art makes everyone happy, so take in those hugs, the thank yous, and the appreciation that everyone will show you on this really special day. Here's an art show checklist that help maps out all of the above with a few extra tips for enlisting some outside help because all these fun things are better done with friends. You can find that link below this video.